Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yasha'alo. Koholoimla, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rekha HaKadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. I just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai to the best of your ability. This is Yah Hanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Going to be a quick one. Just seeing, um, you know, I'm looking at Euro News right now. These things on, um, you know, Google. And then I've also seen this as well. 4.9 magnitude earthquake felt across southern U.S. states. And you can also see as well, they got more of them. You got a magnitude 4.9 earthquake rattles on um, desert southeast. You got um, a damaging 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake that hit Taiwan, of course. You know, remember that one, I think. 4.8 magnitude earthquake hits U.S. East Coast. Um, you got, uh, oh, the tornado damage is crazy, yo. The tornado's been ripping through. Then you got flooding. You got mass flooding. I think it's like, um, let me see. I didn't even go into that. Uh, 300, I think 300 died in that Brazil flooding. Let me see. I seen an article yesterday with the damn babies. They were just floating in the mud, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, the mud slides and, and floods just swept them away. And this is all going into end days um, prophecy. Yep. And this is um, one from 12 hours ago. And they got the uh, the military patrol out and about. Like, yeah, man, hey, this, this thing is going down um, real scant, man. Let's see this one. And this was like two days ago, but you know, they still find him. With his final effort to save his presidency is doing a second round of subsidies for Americans. He announced that... Okay, so Salakia, this is the one in Afghanistan. <laughs> I, I ain't even think, uh, you know, because it's another one, you know, it's, yeah, this is going on in Afghanistan. Forgot about that one. So I pulled the wrong one up, but... Um, it's also going on in Brazil. It was a, a couple of hundred people that was killed. But yeah, they, the Lord got down over here too. got those mud huts over there right let me see uh i forgot about the afghanistan one see this one right here you know a hidden um northern kingdom pretty hard you know it says 136 dead uh over 100 missing 100 plus missing let me see, this one was 11 minutes ago. So let's Heavy rains and floods continue to ravage southern Brazil. At least 136 people are dead. And more than 100 people are missing. In the state of Rio Grande do Sul, Dario Klein reports from a temporary shelter in one of the hardest hit areas. At first sight, you would think this is a regular gym. That, but if we open the picture, you'll see this is more than that. It's, this is, has been transformed in a shelter and in a distribution center of the aid of many, many Brazilians that are sending clothing, food, everything that is needed for the thousands and thousands of people that have been displaced and they are living here in this type of shelters. This Brazilian society has organized itself around many volunteers to make this work to make this happen, to allow these people to keep living uh, while it's still raining and it will keep raining for probably two or three more days here in this area of Porto Alegre. And that yeah, you see uh, uh, Jake standing there praying, man, praying to white Jesus. 
praying to white Jesus, man. <laughs> you know, it's not helping, man. That's all, you know, idolatry. Y'all got to get out of that white Jesus, man. You got um, the Serbians protesting. You got Romania protesting. It's all kinds of uproars of the people going on right now. There's a lot of uh, uh, stuff going on right now. See right here? Well, that's four months ago right there. They don't have the one that I'm looking for here. But yeah, these, sir, it's protests all over the world because these people are, you know, they're sick of their governments. You got this one in, um, they over here uh, going hard about in Romania because of the taxes, man. They, 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 they giving pretty much 50% of their taxes. To the government and they out there protesting over that shit like how the fuck are we supposed to live which is crazy i'm looking at that shit. i mean you know but that's esau edom man that's esau edom the so-called white man he can never have enough and he doesn't care about his own people i don't know what all this is what the fuck is this this should be something showing up on here a bunch of old ass videos Matter of fact, let me go into Google. I'm not understanding why it's doing that. But, I mean, you get the point. They, they definitely, um, you know, yeah, they they, they protested, man. Uh, uh, I'm looking at it now. It says, Eurostat says Romania has the third lowest. Well, it just kind of disappeared on me. Let's see, though. Yeah, they out there protesting, man. Like, God damn, let us live. And these are Edomites. Yep, here we go right here. Romania's National Trade Union has protested outside the parliament building Monday to demand lower taxation on wages. Around 3,000 union members took part, angry at what they call a hostile labor market and accusing the political elite of prioritizing capital. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, now here go another one, too. Oh, they got, uh, they protesting over in Amsterdam right now, right? These damn colleges, man, they, they with that um they going in on that that uh that free free Palestine bullshit. I'm spelling that shit now. Yep, here we go right here, I think. Today, yep. So they done they done tent city that shit out over there. So I'm going to grab a quick scripture or two. I'm just, you know, kind of... What's going on, guys? Oh, this isn't easy to say. Your mother and I think you're hooked on phonics. It's preposterous. That Esau... Es <laughs> Okay, so you see it, man. It, it's uh, this shit is all over the world, and these just a few. It's just a few things that you know what I'm saying. Cause I'm sitting here and I'm watching Euro News. I got it on, um, you know, um, got it on mute, and I'm just looking at all the shit going on. You know what I'm saying? And they, they, it's a lot of stuff going on, man. But let's get um the scriptures, cause it, the scriptures talks about um uproars of the people and um earthquakes and diverse places and all these different things, man. Uh, no, no, second address. Let's get second address real quick, Salakia. Second address, chapter 9, verse 1. Let's start there. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen up, up, Earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. See? 
And when we just went off into those few earthquakes, I mean, well, it's a lot of earthquakes. It's probably, you know, it's quite more than what, you know, people really realize. They just don't um, really uh, focus in on it on the news unless a lot of people die. But it's hundreds of damn earthquakes every day seem like. Okay, but it says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. See, so we're, we're living in the last days. We know that we're living in the last days because the Lord said to measure thou the time diligently. How do you measure the times? You measure the times by going through the scriptures and, and putting it together with what you're seeing going on around you. And the news. That's why it's so important to um, get into that news. Get into some alternative news. You can't just look at your, your local 2, 4, and 7 or whatever it is in your state and your city and, and expect to get the news. You're going to get a few things, but, you know, Esau is not going to give you nothing. That, that's just really programming right there. They're just going to give you, you know, um, murder, murder, kill, kill, uh, accident over here, you know, uh, weather. And, 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 you know, that's pretty much it. You're not going to get... A whole lot of out of these people when it comes to what's going on throughout the world. You see, I can remember doing um, what they used to be called. I think they was called news reports when I went to school. And you had to, you know, do a, a, a news report. You know what I'm saying? You had to have city. Um, you had to have local, state. Um, and world news, you know, you had to, you know, stand. <laughs> stand that was a long time ago. You stand in front of the class. You put together, you know, you, you cut out your pieces and stuff like that out of newspapers. You put it together and you ex you stood before the class and you explain what was going on, you know, local, state and, and world, you know. So those days are far over with. <laughs> but anyway, it's things that's happening out here that lets us know that we are in the end times, man. You know, because even when you go off into, well, you know, we got Matthew. Matthew chapter 24. This is a main, main chapter because this is Yahweh Shah speaking, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And he's giving us the rundown as to what will be happening in the end days. We start from verse 3. And it says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am. Mashiach or Christ or the anointed one and shall deceive many and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet So we're hearing of the wars rumors of wars also they showing on there. You know how Russia's still getting down on Ukraine um, America's still trying to give them more money and more ammunition um, You got all these other different countries. I think it's Poland couple of these other different countries that's kind of like on that border as well you know they're fighting for you know basically trying to protect themselves so to speak just in case russia hit their asses off you got all that going on we and then not to mention you know russia i mean um israel and 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 and, and um the gaza strip i think they you know they they further in their mission into rafa i mean it's just wars rumors of wars you got iran you got china china you know Taiwan all this all this shit man it's just it's all wars rumors of wars right now okay and it says see that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet so we're not troubled by these things we just understand that okay when these things start to happen we know that our Lord is soon to come though it says for nation shall rise against nation you're seeing that on a day-to-day -day basis and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And 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 when you go off into this Israel thing too, because them people over in um the Gaza Strip, hey, them people starving, man. It's a lot of um deaths from just um famine over there, cause they had um Israel. It just show you these damn Israelis, man. Uh, they ended up, you know what I'm saying, attacking the damn aid trucks and, and burning the damn trucks up, smashing all the food out in the street. That was supposed to go to the um those Palestinians over there. Uh, let me just put in Israel aid trucks. Yeah, they was going in, and, and this it, you know people were outraged by seeing this. Here you go, right here. Blowing out the tips of your work boots sucks. Thankfully, Brunt just released their new next generation. Oh, my God. 
These damn Israelis, man, they vicious, man. You know, they talking about Hamas this, Hamas that. Okay, so if the beef is with Hamas, what it, what does that have to do with the citizens that's there? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, y'all tearing the place up, y'all bombing the shit out of the place. You know, the kids are in there, you know what I'm saying? Starving and shit and a bunch of people dying from malnutrition. Let me see. Uh, I'm just going to put in famine in, in um, Palestine. Yeah, man, them, them, hey, them, them damn um, Israelis, I ain't even had to fill it all in. They, they, them Israelis going to fuck in over there. <laughs> you know, see, it's all kinds of articles. Starvation in, in Gaza, Gaza plants for new, nourishment, Gaza war threat of famine. These were two months ago. Now, I'm not sure why they're not showing the newer ones. And probably, maybe it's because Esau's in control of shit. But this is this one I just showed from 11 hours ago. Here's one from one hour ago. Palestinians um, flee Rafa as Israel ramps up troop presence. Here go the kids. You got the kids out here screaming and crying and shit because they, you know, them, them, them bellies starting to touch their back. And they just out here fucking up the, you know. Yeah, they've been showing a lot of these images. Look at that little bitty hand, man. These 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 kids, man, they over there fucked up. So it's, this was two months ago and this thing got way worse. We we'll see America talking about how you know the images of aid being dropped into Gaza might look spectacular. The truth is, it's not nearly enough. As famine stalks the strip, this is the only way of getting any sort of supplies to the millions of people in dire need of. Now, mind you, I remember this because they were dropping them in um, parachutes and shit like that. You know what I'm saying over the over the water, and the people was going out there trying to get out. You know, go out there and get that shit, and they was drowning. You know, so a uh, so famine is is real over there, man. Right now, you got they backed up. You know, they done backed the asses off into them corners, and now you know you got like two million people just trying to just move. You know, or you know, just just on the move. You know, continue. <laughs> so a uh, Israel is over there tearing their asses up right now, man. So you got that going on. Wars, rumors of wars. You got the famines going on. You got all these you um um United Nation um speakers. They're against it, but what are they doing? They're not doing anything about it. You got Joe Biden. He out here acting as if he cares. <laughs> he, but he, 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 he talking as if he's sending aid, but you're sending bombs to go. To, 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 so what's the purpose? You might as well just fucking send the bombs. Which, which, which one you going to do? And then they was, you know, mad and pissed that, you know what I'm saying? I guess supposedly he stopped some, um, I guess, some weapons from going through. But man... You got, um, I'm looking at this one now, Putin to make state visit to China. So Putin, Russia and China, you know, down with each other. And we already know, you know what I'm saying? Or you should know, you know, that prophecy says that Russia is going to be going to play a main part in the destruction of Babylon the Great, which is America, man. So, you know, I didn't want to keep this long. I was just watching Euro News in the backdrop, you know, making some little, little food for the Shabbat coming in. And I'm just looking like, well, damn. <laughs> people are pissed right now people up bros and the people are in the world going on you know it's a lot going on out here man let me see what else is on that that was pretty much it but let's get verse 12 it says and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold let's get that again matthew 24 and 12 and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold so it's so much sin out here in the world and so much greed man these damn Edomites, these so-called white people, they so goddamn greedy, man. They can never have enough, so it's just war, war, war. And this man been warned for a long time, but it's coming to a head where it's just like, okay, now it's talks of nuclear war. And then they, they talking about this MOTB, this market of beauty and the beast. So, you know, hey, get prepared, man. Get prepared because Esau about to try and get down. He about to run game, man. And, and, and you're going to get down or lay down type of deal <laughs> this is how he's, he's running shit man so you're gonna have to make a choice it's gonna come a point where you're gonna have to make a choice you're gonna choose the so-called white man as your god or you're gonna choose your how about shimmy how and this is for you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans man you israelites 
these damn Edomites and these other heathen nations, they're going to do wickedness because that's what they were designed to do, especially the so-called white race. The Lord created them to do wickedness. They're not going to ever do right. So you can forget about that. This salvation thing is not for them. The Bible is not for them. The Bible just lets you know who they are and what they do and the punishment that they're going to get for doing what they do. But other than that, they don't have anything to do with no salvation. Neither do any of these other nations. Salvation is only for the Israelites. The Lord only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said that out of his own mouth in red letter. Matter of fact, let me get that in the blue letter real quick. Because Esau, the so-called white man, got his hands on the scriptures and whitewashed all the damn pictures and got people out here thinking that he's coming to save somebody. When he's the one that's tearing up the damn planet, man. Yeah, man, it's all kinds of shit going on right now. But, hey, check into some of this alternative news, man. There's no reason to, um, you know, be, you know, the scripture says to not be ignorant in any matter, whether it's a great or a small. You should know about day-to-day -day, um, world um, geopolitics, man, going on out here. Matthew 15 and 24, but he answered and said, it's in red letter, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's, the only, that's who the Lord came for. Because the contract was only made with Israel. The Lord didn't, didn't make no covenant with no other nations. When, when, the, when the children of Israel came out of Egypt, after the Lord killed a gang of them, and ran through a whole bunch of other nations to give them the, the, the land, you know. So if the Lord loved everybody, why would he kill all those, you know, those people for, for the, uh, the children of Israel? Right? But he only made a contract. The covenant was only given to them. The children of Israel agreed to the contract. And, 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 and the Lord promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that, you know, he gave them a certain promise. And it's for them. It's not for no other nations. The Lord didn't all of a sudden come in the New Testament and like, oh, well, he loves everybody now. Because you got these Christians that will tell you that the Jews rejected him. And, and that now all of a sudden it's not for the Israelites no more. It's for all the other Gentile nations. But if that was the case, I always like to bring up the fact that, OK, why didn't he? Um, um, how did the, wasn't the disciples um, Israelites? Wasn't James, Peter, Paul? You know, all, what, what, no, all them Israelites, they followed him. It was a situation where they, they wanted to make him king. It was plenty of Israelites that followed the Lord. When it goes off into um, him, you know, him being rejected or not being known of his own, that was when he went to his hometown. When he went to his hometown, they was looking at him like, well, shit, we grew up with you. We know you. We know your family. We know your mom, your dad, your sisters, your brothers. You can't be the most, you know. That's how they was looking at him. That goes off until when he went to his hometown. All the Israelites did not reject the Lord, man. So that, that, that's a false doctrine that has been pushed by the, um, um, you know, mainly Edomites with that replacement theology shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not the case. So the Lord only came for Israel. He's only coming back for Israel. And the rest of you nations are going into um, captivity, man. So your uproars that's going on in your countries, that's, that's just the Lord starting to um, put you against each other. Causing discord among you the way that you cause discord among the Israelites. That's all that it is. You're reaping what you've sown. And it's only going to get worse. It's not going to get, get any better for you. And we're not, you know, <laughs> we're we just praying that, that this shit continue. We pray that it get worse for you. Like for real, for real. So with that, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.